What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U and today we're going to talk about ENT couplings and connectors. So there's been a lot of people asking me to do materials episodes and just talk about the different materials so apprentices can start getting the lingo in their head and knowing what's supposed to be used when. So let's start out, uh, this is a coupling. This is what you would take one piece of conduit and another piece of conduit, put them together, tighten this down, and you just keep building your conduit like that. So a coupling is coupling two pieces of conduit together. A connector, or a male adapter, some people call them, um, is the same thing, but you're not coupling two pieces of conduit together, you're coupling a box and a piece of conduit together. Um, so when you get to the end of your conduit run, you would stick this into a box, and that box is where your plug is, or it's into your electrical panel, or something like that. So connectors and couplings, um, you're gonna use those like crazy. They come in all kinds of different sizes depending on the size of conduit. So right, like these are all three quarter. So for three quarter EMT, electrical metallic tubing. Um, this is for half inch, you can see it's a little bit smaller. This is two inch. This is inch and a quarter, three quarter and half inch. So you can see they make them in sizes and that's when you buy them, most of the time you're asking for specific sizes. But the other thing that you want to make sure of, you can see that there's two different styles. So these ones have little screws on them, and these don't. These are compression type couplings, and they also have them in connectors, compression type with no screws. And these are set screw style couplings and connectors. Um, there's a different environment that you would use each one of them. So the set screw type you're only ever gonna use indoors because there's no like, if you used this outside, water, moisture would get inside of it and then you'd fill your conduit with water. So you can't do that. Um, you're always using set screw style indoors, but your compression style you can use indoors or outdoors. Um, but you have to be careful up until a few years ago, everybody was using all compression style fittings outside because it was supposed to keep moisture out. But then UL, the big listing agency that like, says what materials can and can't be used in our industry, came through and they realized that the typical compression uh, coupling or connector was not doing a good enough job. So you'll find that there are couplings out there that all they have inside is a metal ring and that is not a rain tight fitting. So that can't be used out outdoors. It's not listed for that use. Um, and you can only install materials in jobs that are listed and approved for their use. So instead, you have newer style compression couplings and connectors that on the inside, they've had to do some things to get away with calling their stuff rain tight. So like this guy has an extra little plastic ring inside of it. So that plastic ring, once you put this on and tighten it, it actually sinks around that conduit, which allows the moisture to not penetrate into the conduit. Um, this one does a little bit different job of it. Uh, it still has a plastic ring, but it has two different metal rings as well. There's a little metal ring that kind of pushes this thing down, and then this is the compression piece that tightens over the conduit. So a lot of different manufacturers do different things to get their UL listing for it to be rain tight, but they have to do something and it has to be approved. So that's why you would use these. You're always gonna to wanna to use compression outdoors. Again, you can use them indoors. It's just a little bit more of a pain in the butt because I can slip this thing on, tighten it with a screwdriver, and boom, I'm down the road on the next one. And putting a bunch of pipe together on, you know, when you're up on a lift or something, using these two little set screws is much faster than using these because you have to take a pair of channel locks, well, two pair for a coupling, and you gotta sit and tighten all of these things down. Now these do tighten a lot better. So if you're using your conduit for like an, you know, an equipment ground, a path of, of grounding, um, this is gonna bite a lot tighter on that conduit than this is. But both of them are listed for the, for the use as just a regular coupling, as a fitting for conduit. Um, but that's really the difference. You're always gonna wanna know if you're working with a coupling or a connector, whether you're set screw or compression, and whether you're indoor or outdoor. And if you're outdoor, you have to have something that is listed as a rain-tight fitting that's approved to be used in wet environments. 